Hey everyone, welcome to the unboxing video of uh, Super Saiyan Son Goku effect part set. It's uh, teleportation and uh, Kamehameha effect. So, I hope you can see the design. It's so good and it's so bulky as well. You get so many parts. You have a uh, lot of uh, variations to do. This is a uh, like a uh, force or must have uh, effect piece in my opinion because it has a lot of things to contribute. Uh, so let's dive in and unbox this. So it has like four layers of accessories to be honest. These are how it looks. Let's see each one by one. Okay, so we have this. Uh, this is like the aura rising effect and this is the Kamehameha effect. It looks it's so huge actually. It's so good. And we have a Goku yelling face. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, this is how Goku's yelling face looks. I think actually, to be honest, he looks uh, so good in person. I think he's not photogenic, to be honest, because all the pics doesn't look so good. To yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm impressed with this how it looks. Yeah, that's the closer look of it. And let's check it out. Yeah, and the aura looks so good. I think even on uh, video, it looks so good, and photos, it's gonna be remarkable. And uh, the Kamehameha effect, so you can see how huge it is in my hand. It's so good. They have made it, they have sculpted it so really well. And uh, you can see like the shade of aura and the power of Kamehameha effect coming into it so if you see from this angle you can see the spikes out of it and we have the uh, hand joints where you can attach your action figures uh, a hand towards to it so this is a, like a very good accessory like it's like you have a lot of accessories in one single uh, purchase so that is the reason why we are like suggesting that it's a must have and uh, this is another effect piece uh, that you can for the bottom of this one so it's basically like when you're standing, it would be like like this, and your figure would be standing here. Or if it's if you're flying, it's super tight. So yeah, this is for the flying pose. Like it would look like a flying flying away. You could do all those things here. So they do have like it's it can be take, taken apart. I just noticed this. So probably like they have a space for this and we are expected to like push it inside wow so that like, like you just have to push it inside and since the back is awkward they have added this as well to elevate it now you can you can see this like, it's a huge accessory now it's like one huge chunk so this can be like a flying pose or when it's in the air and this is when it's in the uh, in, in the standing and i think this can also be removed yeah so this is actually like the stand and uh, this one uh, is supposed to be a spike so for the kamehameha effect yeah this is so good yeah so Looks like, oh wow, looks like you can remove this Kamehameha effect out. So if you don't want it to be attached to your hands, you can just remove it out. And we have like a low beam of Kamehameha effect, like it's a different shape. You just have to push that shape for that. And you can post your, like if it have to be like a low guy. Now I'm considering, I'm thinking I have to get another one necessary like this. Yeah. To be honest, it looks so good. Like if if you wanted to do do a two attacks, I think I will need one more of this. I'm highly considering that I'll probably get one more. Yeah, it's so good. Uh, after unboxing it, I feel like it's it's a, like a must for our display as well. Yeah. So I'm just okay. That goes that. And this one should also be like for the flying pose or for the stand. We'll see that later on. We have. Uh, these for the Kamehameha effect, like for the stands, like for it to stand in the stands, yeah. 
so yeah these should be like yeah should be fitted and there should be some holes or support for your kamehameha effect yeah you could see a hole here right here so this is for that like like you can keep your figure over there for the kamehameha effect and uh yeah, that's the and This stand has got so many positive reviews. Like the function they have done for this is so good. Let's look into that. So, like a huge stand. Oh, you can see that. So there is a lock over here. If you like, it's for going up and down. And if you lock it, like press it there, you cannot move it. It's super tight. Yeah. So that is one lock here. And there is another lock here over here. So if you leave it, you can go up till this point. Yeah. Till this point. And you can lock it up right over here. So it won't move. Okay. So uh, let's let's take the bottom part. This is like a base is so good. It's like this sanded uh, like a mountain place where you can post it up. And there are rocks as well which you can keep in the uh, three other holes so basically we have five holes one two holes will be for stand in either direction uh, which we have seen here okay because two joints are here and uh, rock play, uh, rocks on the unique positions yeah so it's a good accessory overall like five, five holes has five joints to take you can see those you can see those holes can be filled there. Yeah. So let's let's check the hands. Yeah. See. It was super simple. Just have to mount it up, and uh, the holes should go on, and you can lock it up. Okay. So you can go. You can go like the stand can either go like this, or if you want it to be stretched, you can do this, and you can just lock it. So now it's locked. Don't move. And similarly to the same, like you can just move it up or move it down and you can just lock it. So that's how good it is. And this part, like I'm having trouble to move this part. So I believe we have to use our uh, screws to like untie this. Yeah, I have my screw here. I'll just quickly try it up. I still haven't given it a try. So, okay. So. I'm not sure uh, how to do it exactly because I'm afraid it would break. So what I did was I unscrewed this part and uh, took out the screw here. Yeah. So I use this. Uh, like people are asking me when in my previous later videos like which screw I use. So this is the screw I used, and it looks like this. So even then I I was not able to do it. So only way I was able to do it was like since it's a plastic like this. Since you could see it yeah it's like a plastic like this and since we remove the screw there's a gap here so I, I i was able to lift it and then do it like you saw right i was able to lift it and move it so that's how it was possible for me i'm not sure if that is the right way to do it see so i was able to lift it and move it so then i assume we'll have to screw it once we have a desired uh, position for it so i'm still doubtful on this i can check with my friends abroad uh, this clenching thing for the figure you can like grab the figure like this right gap actually there is a gap like this like a uh, hexagon shape I'm just trying to figure out where the hexagon shape is. This is big. Okay, so what I do was this was a huge piece, right? So I just lifted this out, okay? And I pushed this inside. So this went in, right? And from this object, right? Yeah, I don't think this is possible. Okay, here comes. So remember there was an, another part uh, in the initial time where we saw something like this. Uh, along with this one. 
So this is when this part comes out. Wow. They have really thought this through, man. Yeah. And you can just push it as well, right? It looks like this. And you can use your clutch. Uh, like that. So you can just push it right here. And here is it. Like, and you can push it forward, right? And now it looks like this. Of course, you can also push it. Okay, this looks amazing. And we attach it over here. We bring it forward. And this is how it looks. And this is, guys, this is how it looks necessary uh, for the power up effect. So you can keep your favorite act. Uh, you can keep your favorite uh, characters for this power up. Uh, you have the uh, have the joint to like clench them. Uh, so this is a very uh, very good add on, uh, and this was like really fascinating how how they have done it. it looks so good. And initially we did see this uh, crazy uh, version of this Goku. So basically you can get this uh, SH of uh, Dragon Ball Super Saiyan. This is a reissue. You can see this sticker over here, which uh, which means it's a reissue. The new ones you yeah, like gets this, so you can confirm it with like that. And it looks stunning as well. They have actually uh, sculpted up the face better, is what I heard and felt as well uh, from the previous version. So this is a must have. Or else, if you don't want, uh, have much money. And you want something so cool to look at, look with it. Uh, you can get this figure. So this is like a much much better version of Super Saiyan. This is like legendary Super Saiyan version. Uh, it was just recently released. So yeah, you can grab this. If you can't find, you can even message me on Instagram. I do have a spare. I can uh, share with people. So this looks amazing. Uh, we can use this so we can maybe like use the same with this uh, in some time. hey guys i have fitted it up so i have used my legendary super saiyan with the hook over there so you can see it elevated and this is the uh, face that comes with this uh, accessory and this is the kamehameha effect which you can like pose it like you can see like kamehameha pose like, yeah see I'm not using anything because it, it has a support or uh, this hands already so it's so easy to move him yeah so I just give a closer look of how he looks yeah come here, come here. so yeah this came out because I moved it rashly but yeah it's it's very simple like you can move your joints like this okay and pose him however you want like if you have a like fight with cell or androids this would look so good yeah even with vegeta i'm waiting for a vegeta gallic gun uh yeah, like, like same like vegeta's like with the zara it's gonna be epic right and also he looks so good if you could see the elevated one and how it looks and with the power up raging face yeah it's it's a very good accessory and we do still have a lot more that can like you can just keep it like this yeah see like an effect going out you can still do that it has a lot to offer right so this is like a very power packed uh, accessory package i would highly recommend and yeah the, and we also have this so instead of this holded hands you can use this with like a minimum effect and then you can use also like a power up version of this yeah you can do a lot of photo shoots with this so that's it guys it's like a very good figure wonderful figure it's like a must have uh, like you can see a lot happening here and it's definitely worth the price whichever you're getting like i got it for like 3800 in close to 4000 so it's it's so good uh please like share for more unboxing videos and check out my instagram page sanjay cartables for more thank you bye bye